Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I'm your guide, Justin Arezio, and today in this video, I'll be showing you how to create a baseline in your Gantt chart in Smartsheet. All right, guys, so here we have a Gantt chart. And first off, if you don't know what a Gantt chart is or want to know how to build one out, you can watch some of my other hints and I'll show you exactly how to build it out step by step. But in this helpful hint today, we're going to be learning how to create a baseline in a Gantt chart. So you have your Gantt chart here and uh, real quick, uh, the dark color rows, that's simply a summary of all the of all the child rows. So you got your parent row, which is a summary, and the child row. So for instance, right here, you got March 25th to March 29th, three days. March 30th to April 5th, that's five days, so on and so forth. So we add all this up, it's 14 days. So you can go ahead and collapse all of these. Again, these are just the summary, so you can't change them, it's in gray. It's just showing you a summary. So let's say you're working instruction and uh, you just put together a project uh, schedule and you want to set a baseline. You want to know if you're going to stay on schedule, get ahead, get done ahead of schedule, or if you fall behind, how far behind you will be. So we'll go ahead and open this back up again, expand all, and I just threw in some random divisions here, just kind of made this up. And so now we want to have a baseline. We want to know if we're going to stay on track at the beginning of a project. So to do a baseline, you're going to go over here where it says baselines. Click on that. And you're going to make sure that this toggle switch is on. So your baseline is shown in your Gantt chart. So right now there is no baseline. And when I click set, you're going to see it appear right here. It's going to be a little black line. And right now, as it stands, we're quote unquote on schedule. Our start date and our actual start date and end date are the same as our baseline start date and baseline end date. They're the same. So we'll click set. Now we got that little line here. So let's say at the very beginning, maybe the West Wing pour, instead of taking five days, it actually took, or three days, it actually took 10 days. Enter. Now see how everything shifted? So if I go back to my baseline, we are now seven days behind schedule. Our actual end date has now turned to October 14th when before it was October 5th. And so now you know what you need to do, all these different divisions here, how they need to catch up to get back in place. So let's say uh, these guys did it in one day, these guys did it in one day. And now as you can see, these guys were off. By the time we get back here, we're back on schedule. So if you click back to baseline, we are now on schedule. Now say you started a baseline, and you hate it, you don't like it, you want to reset it, just click reset right here. I give you a warning, are you sure you want to reset your baseline? Go and click reset and go back into here, you're Hello. back on schedule. I don't need it. All right, we are all done for the day for this helpful hint, and sorry that was my daughter who wanted to jump in the mixer, but that is how you create a baseline in Smartsheet. All right, you guys, take care.